You can see them, uh, creepy crawly wiggle wiggle, cauldron boil and cauldron biggle, something like that. Okay, so they just need to be kept super cold, well, refrigerator cold, or you can run water and let them stay in the cold running water, but you got to take the uh, chlorine out of the water. And I find it easier just to keep them in the fridge, airstone in there bar fridge, paid 50 bucks for it, sort of thing. Okay, we need more light bulbs in this thing. See how the size he's gotten now? That's our purple spotted goby, and then we got uh, some smaller ones, and then those are yellow rainbows. We bought them when they were babies, so they've been in here growing up. Okay. This here is Clementine. Oh my darling Clementine. She is a tangerine leopard gecko. Okay, when if I had two hands I'd take her out, but I don't want her to get nervous and jump. Okay, so we feed her crickets and mealworms and all sorts of Tasty delights. This is our land hermit crab exhibit. Okay. Now, if you saw the video where we got these uh, tanks from Hamilton, we got a bunch of these land hermits and some we already have. So, this end here is fresh water and that end is salt water. Okay. So, we got a filter in each end. They, of course, have a tendency to haul this stuff in. Now, for this stuff here, they burrow down, okay? So you want to keep this nice and moist because what they do is they burrow down, they shed their skin, they hang out, they eat it, and then they come back up, okay? And then join the group again because they're a very outgoing, gregarious crowd. Okay, this here kind is something rugula, rugula, but whatever. That there is a strawberry hermit crab. This one there, I can't see them well. That is a purple pincher. As you can tell by the pincher that's purple. So you always leave a variety of shells in for them. Give them a cuddle bone. Give them pieces of uh, coral. Anything they can get calcium off of. You feed them a variety, we give them uh, like the romaine lettuce cores, we give them bananas, we give them uh, orange peels. Let's get them an orange now, Eva. We even grow our own oranges. That's how dedicated we are in this place. Oh, actually, I like plants too. Okay, so let's find us a. Uh... Okay, here's an orange that got damaged, so we'll give them that. Because they don't care if it's green. Still got nutrition. And you can just throw it in. And it smells good too. And then we got a variety of dishes because every day they get their dish all wet. So we give them a variety of foods. Sometimes we give them algae wafers. Sometimes we give them fish pellets. Stuff like that. Whatever. Uh, you want to give them a variety of food. Some hermit crabs are so picky they won't even eat the same food more than 24 hours at a time. The next day they won't eat what they ate the day before. None of these are that kind, but you know, who wants to eat the same food every day? Well, if I did it would be hamburgers. That's about the favoriteest food. If I had to eat the same food every day would be hamburgers. Okay, then here's our dwarf seahorses. We've did a few videos on them before. And I haven't set this section up. I know I promised everybody I was going to... There's the return. I've got the water return system part set up for, well, a year. So then we have a little baby carriage. If anybody has a baby that needs a carriage to play with because it's a death trap, there's no way I'm putting a live kid in there. Hortensia painted it. <laughs> it's 
squeaky toys. They look like teddy bears, but they're not. And then we got some tanks back here. Filters and carbon and nice for traction to get out of stuck. Okay. And we're in the midst of organizing this. We got the shoes that we got left from the flea market are here as well. We got some jars, small tanks. Oh yeah, if anybody's looking for some nice glass bottles, the clear one's 30 bucks and the green one's 20 bucks and the big plastic uh, barrel is 20 bucks. Okay? These are plastic plants that came from the tank that had the hermit crabs in it. Okay, then we got some bedas set up, etc. Okay, so now we're going downstairs. Celeparinus fasciatus. Nervous? Shy? Some catfish? We took the rest of the fish out of there to a customer on uh, Thursday, so... Then a nice green terror down there. In here is a mud skipper. It's kind of like a uh, half water, half land critter. This is an Indian mud skipper. He eats earthworms when you're not looking. Oh, wow, he's out. These are brackish water moray eels. Okay. So not super colorful. That there is a archer fish. An archer fish. We feed them on live fish and eat shrimps and stuff. And right there are tiger datanoids. And you just heard the bell. So we're going to end the video here and we'll see you when uh, we take care of the customer. Okay. Bye.